The concept I'm trying to portray to you right now is one of what's called an equilibrium reaction. Now, what does that term equilibrium mean? Probably our simplest or most simple definition for equilibrium is a balancing process. What we're saying is, is that the concentration of cations of that particular cation in solution will directly determine the number of exchange sites that that cation will occupy on these mineral particles. Why is it an equilibrium reaction or a balancing reaction? Because anything we do to increase or decrease the concentration of one versus the other will shift that reaction in that direction. So let's say, for example, that I have a a soil. This soil has certain cations on the exchange sites and it has that same cation found in soil solution. If something is taking those cations out of solution, and we hope that something, especially if they're a nutrient cation, would be the roots of the plants that are growing in that soil, as we reduce the concentration of cations in solution, that will allow some of those that are being held on exchange sites to come off and go into solution to take their place. If we, for example, came into that particular soil and applied a fertilizer material that contained this particular cation in it, then we would be building up the concentration of cations in the solution, and that in itself would drive a number of those cations that we'd applied in the fertilizer material onto these exchange sites. Those exchange sites in a given soil can only hold a fixed quantity of these cations. So as we increase the concentration of one cation on those exchange sites, that has to be at the expense of some other cation that was being held on that particular exchange site. So that's kind of a a real brief explanation of an equilibrium reaction. Think of it as being a balanced reaction. If you increase the concentration in solution, you drive more onto the exchange site. If something happens to decrease the concentration of that particular cation in the soil solution, then some of those being held on exchange sites will come off to try to reach a new equilibrium or a new balance between those on exchange sites and those which are in the soil solution. What is the significance or importance of cations on exchange sites? I guess a simple explanation for that would be it's a very that it is very significant that these cations are being held on these exchange sites. If a cation is a free cation and in soil solution, it can not only be taken up by the roots of a plant, but it is also capable of being moved or, or in this case we'll say leached, or moved down below the root zone of that crop in the soil profile. Now it's true that cations do not leach or move nearly as readily in the soil environment as do anions. Anions, recall, have a negative charge. Anions can only be held on anion exchange sites, and there are far, far fewer of these in the soil. So as we see something, in this case we're concerned with nutrients, if we see nutrients occurring as anions in the soil, these are considered to be much more highly mobile or capable of moving in the soil solution or the soil, within the soil profile. So the significance of something occurring on a cation exchange site is that it's kind of, think of this as a reserve form of, of nutrient. If long as we have that cation being held on the exchange site, we will have a reserve supply to replace that which is being taken out of the soil solution over a period of time. If we do not have a cation being held on exchange sites in appreciable quantity, then once that supply that is currently there and available in solution is, utili- is used up, we don't have that resupply effect coming off of the exchange sites to take its place. The same would be true for a nutrient that occurred as an anion, such as nitrogen occurring as the nitrate, NO3, with a negative charge, the nitrate anion uh, in the soil solution. 